I want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Kohalah, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem Rakat Kodash. I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles for a great millstone. I also want to salute to my brothers YSO, Yahweh Shah sanctified ones out of Nashville, Tennessee. Also to the hopeful elect men who on the highways and the byways preaching this truth week in and week out, day in and day out. To the remnant men, women, and children that's coming to this truth in this lateral end, we are the Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, so-called Native Americans, so-called Hispanics, then the speckled of birds, so you are who your father is. Also to our father which art in heaven, his name is Yahweh, which means he is, he exists. By Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, he is our Savior and a Deliverer, which the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. His real name is Yahweh Shah, ha Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, man. And we're waiting on Yahweh to give Yahweh Shah that green light. You know. Also to the Rakat Kodash, which is the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. They give us the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to do these to do these lessons, man. And uh, these lessons and epistles so that you can be edified through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Oh uh, yeah, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Kwata Zaya Wamba Ball, Kwata Zaya Wamba Ball, Kwata Zaya Wamba Ball, Shorten the Days in, in Babylon, man. Also, this video is going to be heavy, man. So I want to say, uh, the rock, yada, yasha, our rock. I'm going to say it again, the rock, yada, yasha, our rock. Say it one more time for understanding. The rock, yada, yasha, yasha, our rock. I shot Abba Barak slap you. I'm going to really say it one more time. The rock, yada, yasha Abba Barak. That's uh, acknowledge the Lord in all thy ways. You know, let me just get that real quick and go back. You know, because, you know, like I said, this is a heavy, heavy uh, lesson for me. You know, because, uh, you know, when you come in this truth, you don't really realize the responsibilities that you have as being a, an Israelite man or being a prophet, man. Okay. This is Proverbs. And I'll just say that in Hebrew, the rock, yada, yasha, our rock. In all thy ways, in all thy ways, acknowledge him. Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, and he shall direct thy path. You know what I'm saying? That as far as this video, you know, uh, the spirit just came into me uh, the other night and I read it and I sent it to my brother. You know, and I was like, man, this is a, a heavy, heavy hitter for someone like me who been in the truth. Now, you know, I've been in the truth, but the Lord is like opening me up to different, you know, doors uh, through wisdom. And you got to work and toil with the, with the uh, spirit, man. You know, and, and, and basically this, 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 uh, this, um, this lesson is the heavy weight. Of being a prophet, man. I'll say it again. The heavy weight or the heavy lot. I haven't really decided. The heavy weight of being a prophet or the heavy lot of being a prophet, man. Because you don't really realize the responsibility that you have within yourself. You know, you just, you can't play around with this thing, man. You know, we speaking the prophecies. We're speaking how to live. You know, we speaking the things that we supposed to speak according to Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. You know, I was just sitting and, uh, you know, the spirit would just say, just read Deuteronomy 18, you know, and I, and I, this is just a really a testimony. And when I read it, man, you know, at first I was kind of puzzled about it, you know, because earlier in, you know, that chapter, it goes into, you know, the Levites and the priests and then how the abominations of the other nations, all that type stuff. And then you get down to 15 and they speak about Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, wow, you know what I'm saying? Because they, like they always say, you know, Yashawam said all the time, Elder Wash, Yashawam said all the time. And uh, uh, Amawam, the elder out of GMS Birmingham said, you know, that the Most High, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, is in the volume in the book, the volume of the book, man. And you know, when you read and start, the Lord start opening you up to doors and uh, showing you new, uh, uh, you know, wisdom. You know, it's a scary, it's a, it's a, 
it's not a scary moment. It's just a shocking moment. You got to bring yourself, you know, to light that thank the most high that he's showing you certain things, but also fearing the Lord. <laughs> Cause you know, it, you know, it, I always say, you know, fear the Lord. He should give you that wisdom, man. You know, and uh, when you get the wisdom, it's just like sometimes you sometimes the flesh uh, will try to get the best of you as if you don't really need or that you don't deserve that wisdom. But the Lord give it to you for a reason. And that's to teach and preach according to the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Uh, as I said, you know, I have to say it again, the rock Yada Yasha Rock, that the most high can lead me through this through the spirit, man, because it's just, it's uh you know, these words are, are uh you know, they bring the fear upon you, man. Uh when you preaching this word because you start to see I, I heard I saw a brother today. You know, he was teaching uh, about, you know, the, uh, you know, the uh, Shlakia, I can't think, um, the spirits, evil spirits tapping against brothers, man. You know, you know, because the more wisdom you had, the more you're going to be tested, you know. And he was talking about how, you know, like some of them are coming to you for the things you used to love back in the days and try to entice you with those things. Well, you know, when you when you are heavy, you know, when you when you preaching this truth, you're going to get hit that way. And you see all different type of brothers, man. You know, you see brothers who had it, who lost it. And then who's gone, man. So when you teach this word, man, you like you you got to be on point. And if a brother rebuke you, it's better for a brother to rebuke you and your flaws and your how are you, how are shy. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is a heavy thing, man. It's a heavy walk. This journey is is heavy, man. You know, and uh, I'm just gonna read these three scriptures. I was gonna go up to the top and let's talk about Yahawasha in 15, but I might do a second video. I'm just talking about the heavy weight of being a prophet. You know, if you ain't teaching the right things, man, this is a life or death thing. You know, this is not no. This is, as I'm a woman say, you know, GMS Elder Birmingham, you know, this is not for the fainted heart, man. And you gotta, you gotta gain strength. You gotta, you gotta have faith and you gotta ask the most high for those things. Them things coming from the heavens, man. As the brother said, when I think brother, I listened to a video, he was saying like, this is something that you can't go to the store and buy. You can't go into the store and buy faith. You can't go in the store and buy, uh, 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 you know, uh, strength. You can't go in and buy these things. You can't go in and buy wisdom, man. These things come from the heavens. So, let me just get to these three scriptures, man. And if the Lord takes me to a different place as I'm uh, reading, then I'll do it according to to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Shah, man. So this is Deuteronomy 18 and 20, and it reads. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. And just when just reading that right there is heavy. You know, because speaking not of the most high's words accordingly, man, is a fear and to to be to to look at it. Uh, not lightly, man. And that's what you see in some of these men doing out here, man. They're speaking. And let me. I can continue, man. Speaking of their own lust, and, and I'm gonna get that in a minute too. You know, but this I'm gonna read it again. And this is this is the heavy weight. This is the heavy lot of it. Every being a prophet, man. You know, that's why you got great leaders. You follow leaders. You grow. And don't take on nothing that you can't handle, man. Because this this walk is a is a it is heavy, man. You know, like I said, my last video, you know, was about strengthening the mind. Well, reason why and reason why strengthening the mind is important because the things that you 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 produce, a you have to be able to respond and be able to add them to your arsenal, man. 
the things that we speak, you have to speak the truth. Or what it say, but the prophet which shall presume to speak of words in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die, man. So those are heavy words, man. Verse 21. And if thou shalt it's like if and, and, and if that if thou say in thy heart, how shall we know the words which the Lord hath not spoken? And it's going to show you, it's going to stay in 22. And these men who are here not teaching this truth accordingly, man, this is where 22 going to be. When when a prophet speak in the name of the Lord Yahweh, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. Yeah, because you ain't speaking the truth. Let's see what that word presumptuously is. Pride, insolence, presumptuousness, arrogance. And you seeing that from these brothers, man. You know, you seeing it from a lot of brothers out here, man. You know, the Sakaris, the ISU, ISU, uh, ICPK, man. You know, uh, um, IUIC. You know, it, this 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 thing is heavy, man. You know, and, and I'm going to read it one more time. Because, hey, what are they saying? The MOTB is not, you know, is, is uh, you know, a philosophy or it's a, a religion. Or, you know, this what these camps are saying, man. But what did, what did, what did, what did the scripture say? What a prophet speaking in in the in 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 the name of the Lord Yahweh, if the things not it's like I'm reading from the top again, Deuteronomy eighteen and twenty two, when a prophet speak in the name of the Lord Yahweh, if the thing follow not nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord Yahweh have not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, thou shall not be afraid. Be afraid of him, yeah, man, and that's what that's what that because these things ain't coming to pass. But when these people start to see the things that the men of the Lord, starting from Jim, uh, the apostles and the elders of GMS, start seeing these things come to fruition, that's going to be the true fear. Because the prophets who had said these things are coming to truth. I'm gonna read it one more time. When I read this, man, it was heavy, you know. Uh, when a prophet speak in the name of the Lord Yahweh, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord Yahweh has hath not spoken. But the prophet has spoken it presumptuously in arrogancy. Thou shalt not be afraid of him, man, and that, and that and that's what you see, you know, because you already know that the things that of uh, 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 Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will come to pass. That's what everything that's that's coming starting all the way from Yahweh Yahweh Shah, man. When Yahweh Shah. You know, when you when you speaking a lie, man, you ain't speaking the truth. People are straight, uh, they'll 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 flee from you, man. Cause you're not speaking. That's why I always in my you know, when I was a kid, my grandfather would say all the time to me, you know, my name is everything. I can make another dollar. The reason why he said that is because, you know. If someone doesn't believe you or someone doesn't trust you, then your name is not reputable, man. You know, I want people to be able to be like, I'm reputable, man. That I, you know, if someone says something, then they're like, no, nah, that ain't Shalomah, you know, because they know who I am. And, and am I, and do I have flaws? Of course I do. But overall, I'm going to try to be the best man of the Lord I could be. That's why I pray for it, man. For the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahusha to build me up into a Hebrew Israelite, man. Try to be in the spirit and in the truth as much as possible, man. Because it's flesh that, and I said it in my last well, that flesh and spirit battles each other. But as long as you repent and that, that the, and then you uh, are being sincere, uh, you good. But the point is, man, you seeing that these things are happening. And this is prophecy, man. There's prophecy showing you that these, you know, that, that there's going to be, you know, uh, 
these wicked men at the end. All right. All right. I'm gonna, I, got, I think I got a pre, quick precept that I want to go into. You know, this is Jeremiah. And I did a video on this, you know, some time ago. Um, on, on these men, man. All right. Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, the prophet prophesies lies in my name. And that's what, he, what I just said a few minutes ago, man. You know? You shouldn't like the Lord. You know when the Lord, when you when you speak the Lord, when you speak the words of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is going to come to pass. But what did the Lord say in Jeremiah fourteen and fourteen? Then the Lord Yahweh said unto me, the prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them. Neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision in a divination. In a thing of not, in deceit of their heart, man. So you know, most I can, man. Hey, that's why this thing is. Oh, I said, man. This uh, the the heavy weight or the heavy lot of being a prophet is. This is this is nothing to be glossed over, man. This is nothing to 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 just say that I'm a prophet, man, or to me to teach and preach. When you're doing this thing, man, it's just, it's it's a heavy, a heavy lot. As I was saying, strengthen the mind, the heaviness of it, lifting weights, lifting the mind. Make sure that you have everything correctly to to the best of your ability. And if you mess up, man, just correct it. Just apologize for it and ask the most high to have mercy on you, man. Because we ain't going to like we're not like we're trying to be the best. Trying to be put in the best position as possible through the spirit, man. And that the Lord will build you up. Because this thing is not easy, bro. All right. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh concerning the prophet that prophesies in my name. I sent them not. Yet they say sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed. Yeah. And that's what's going to happen, man. For these brothers who are out here and they want to speak the truth. And they tell you that, that these things not going to happen. The Lord said what? By, I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it verbatim from the top again. And I'm going to make the, uh, I'm going to emphasize on the part that I want to be at the end. All right. Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh concerning the prophet that prophesies in my name and say, it's like, an and I sent them not. Yet they say, sword and faming, <coughs> it's like, sword and faming shall not be in this land. I'm going to emphasize that sword and famine shall not be in this land. By sword and famine, famine shall those prophets be consumed, man. And I can continue, man. It's just, you know, like I said, this is going to be a heavy lesson. You know, because it's not until you understand what you in till you really understand that this is no joke. That's why you speak to your brothers, you know, uh, to make sure that, you know, you on point in your walk, you know. And, and your brother's supposed to be there to, to, to help you during your walk, man. Because, hey, it's easy, especially in this in this world right now, it's easy to fall off. You know? It, it just... You just got to be, your mind just got to be right. You know, it just, and, and like I said, you know, your, your, your focus in this spirit. That's why all the brothers who, who talk about this truth say they going in hard. You know, um, you know, a lot of brothers tired. You know, their brothers putting out uh, uh, lessons every day. You know, they're doing live videos. You know what I'm saying? And their own personal videos that they're doing they're doing a group setting and then they do i mean that's a lot of work man that's a lot of weight and some brothers don't have the spirit of that but for the ones who do ate the water as i always say the water to the apostles and the elders of great millstones and like-minded brothers who preach the truth of yahweh why yahweh shot man because you know to do that you gotta have a lot of spirit you gotta have a lot of oil and that oil Constantly, it can't just be something that you just 
throw up. It's gotta, it's gotta, it's gotta manifest, man. It's gotta, it's, it's gotta be a, a oil of substance. The best oil, like when you go to a, a grocery store, you can go get olive oil. But if you really want the best of the best, you're gonna go to a uh, a boutique type um, grocery store, man, so that you can get the best quality of that oil. You know, so that you when you cook with it or use it, you know, you're going to get the best. And that's what I always perceive ever since I've been in the truth that GMS had a great millstone, man. You know, that's that's that's, you know, I, I follow brothers every day and I'm this is kind of like a testimony. You know, if you brothers get to the end and hear this, you know, it's just really a testimony where, you know, I listen to, you know, uh. The Elder Amawan down in the the Great Millstone, uh, Birmingham, daily man. Even I might not respond or comment on his uh, uh his videos, but it, daily I'm watching his videos, man. Elder Yasha Wamba, daily edifying lessons, and I try to get to apostles' um, videos daily. That's a lot of video. That's a lot of information to consume. But you do it because if you if you if your if your oil is not uh uh up to the level that it needs to be, that's how you gain that get get that oil, man. From men who came before you, man, great men. So that's it, man. I ain't gonna talk no more. I just wanna say, you know, this walk or this 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 lot is heavy, man. The heavy weight of this. Uh, the heavy weight of being a prophet or the heavy lot of being a prophet don't overlook it man and this is you know the things that we do we are prophesizing and i saw i showed you from the beginning that the things that we're supposed to prophesy we're supposed to prophesy of yahweh yahweh shah man you know uh, with that saying i want to say brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah call her law Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, I want to give double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Also to my brothers YSO and salute to the hopeful led brothers who are on the highways and the byways preaching this truth week in and week out and day in and day out. And salute to the hopeful led. I want to say shalom to the hopeful led. Shalom.